This is an open spiral, loose heart, love spoon carving. Blanks and finished love spoons are usually available. Email me. Put a center line all the way around the whole carving and then I divide it up into thirds to indicate where the loose heart is going to be that runs through the other spirals and it will be loose. I consider this project to be an advanced, intermediate, or an expert whittling project. I didn't time myself, but I have approximately 20 hours in this carving. With all the cross grain that's in the crossbar, it's always good to use a little bit of water and alcohol, 50-50 mix. You spray it on and it'll make your knife cut a lot easier. I usually start out with a gouge. I can get my stop cuts in and the beginning of it. And then later on, I'll switch over to a bench knife and you can do the rounding and the finished carving with a bench knife. I like to carve down just a little past center when I'm blocking it out. I think it's a good idea to start with the spiral at the bottom. It's easy to do and it gives you lots of practice for when you get up into where the loose heart is going to have to be carved around. After you get all the way down one side, turn it around and then start down the other side. You might notice that I have switched over to the bench knife. Also check out how I'm leaving the spiral so it will come up over that loose heart. You want to make sure that it will clear over the top of the loose heart. It's always a good idea when you're on something like this to get out your plan and check where your binds are going to go, where it goes over, where it goes under. I'm going to go down and cut to the level of the heart. Now you don't want to cut down past that level. You might notice in a little bit I'm going to check my side view to make sure that I don't go past that one-third mark because you want to keep that heart continuous. Okay, there it is. I just checked. Okay, here it is the next day and I'm taking it out of a baggie that I put it in. I wet it down with a little bit of alcohol and water and zipped it up in that Ziploc bag and left it overnight. The basswood will soak up the water and it makes it a lot easier to carve when you get into the next session. Don't leave it in for a long period of time. It'll cause checking. Now we got to lay out the other side. The best thing to do is to get your plan back out and Look at it. This is the same plan that I had glued on to the front. And just copy it exactly the same way and it'll be reversed from the front. And find your lines and then just transfer it right onto the back side of the block. Now there's your line. So I'm going to flip it over. and it'll be exactly like that on the other side. And keep repeating that all the way around, all the overs and all the unders, and that'll indicate where your stop cuts are gonna be.
to give a little warning here to keep in mind the direction of your grain. Your grain's going up and down and I'm marking it here to indicate where it's going. But out here on the arms of the cross, it is still going up and down, which makes all of those cuts on that spiral cross grain. And if you don't be careful, you'll break it right through there. So all of these cuts right in here, just take really little cuts and be really gentle. Go slow. And last of all, I carve out the spoon using a curved knife. I just recently got these curved knives and they work pretty good. I used to use just a gouge and a gouge will work pretty well too. You'll have to sand a little bit with the gouge.